I don't even know how to start this. Welcome back. It's the Pick'em. There's a lot of tension in the air. Nope. No tension. There's a lot of tension There's in the no air. Tension. Seven, got, years, seven walked, years of the same panel. It's one of the longest running podcasts in the country. Seven years? Well, he has yeah, a caller in. He's been doing it. Co-host yeah, is could, whatever. He's, Five years tops. He's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Loosely no added his Absolutely no tension. I walked in here and you guys were just sitting here staring at each other. Well, so there he, was clearly some tension. He had a death in the family. Yes. Yeah. Did, Dave, did Dave send Dave, you a uh, condolence? Yeah, he did. He How quickly? Dog, too. Quick. How was it quicker than you sending a condolence to Dave for <laughs> well, Stella? He, yeah, he, well, I he, can't text him. No, he, still blocked. He thanked me on public radio. So, oh, yeah. some things. Or not thank. I, I don't want to. Get I'm, to I'm not. Things. I'm in a good mood. I like Rico. I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, we're gonna get along. It's gonna be a good year. We always okay. get along. Yeah. Okay. Well, one welcome. of the longest running podcasts in the company. That's true. Welcome yeah. to Pick'em. We got Hank here. It is college football Pick'em. We are back for another season. There was a lot of talk around the office, around Twitter. I'm going to take these headphones off. You guys aren't going to wear them. There was a lot of talk around the office, talk around Twitter that Rico was not going to be back on this show. Most of that talk started from Rico himself. He decided to start rumors all summer. Uh, basically, the boy who cried wolf. And then when we do the Peter Luger's thing uh, with, with the singing cowboy, you got upset. Yeah, that hurt. I mean, I've been saying that's my place. I've been saying that for, for months mm -hmm. and years, I should say. But, uh, yeah, you know. Listen, like Dan said, though, you don't sell tickets to the regular show. You sell them to the comeback tour. So that's what we always do. <laughs> okay. June and July is uh, a lot of clouds in the air. You can't see. And then sun part, uh, clouds part, sunset all the way through <laughs> September to December. That's how we do it. I mean, that's so, a good way to put it. Yeah, it's great. So, so we're uh, back together as There always. is one thing I do want to give. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I think I was definitely on a vacation with my wife when I – Saw this video feature. Probably was my could have been my honeymoon, but either way, it was uh, you know a vacation that earned some money from obviously working here. Um, you have provided a lot of opportunities with everybody here. The guy who was watching the video feature provided a lot of opportunities for the, this company, um, and he had a God-given ability to throw the ball. But I also think he would have been the, one of the coolest guys at the bachelor party. I know you guys met him, and uh, I don't know oh, if we could put this in the uh, I don't know if we could put this damn. in the studio. But uh, I think it's a fitting That's thing. That's great. It is a yeah. Jared Lorenzen 22 Kentucky jersey framed. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's I an just, emotional you know, start to the show. Yeah, I was watching that. I was like, you know, he, he's just a great guy. And, and how do you know him? I don't know him. And I, oh. I just friend, know that he's a I friend know, of a friend. Yeah, for he's definitely a friend of a friend. But he's, he's provided opportunities. What does this have to do with the honeymoon? I was wa I was watching a video Beautiful. feature on him struggling it about his gorgeous. weight, got it, um, so his got health, a stuff like that. Jared Lorenzen, you know, lefty lefty. Yeah, he, his wife was talking. It was just uh, again, it was a, a vacation that I paid for working through here. That opportunity is not around. This studio is not around. You're not watching without. that TV, seeing Jared Lorenzen. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So he's connection. provided a lot of people opportunities. Great guy. Who, Jared like or Dave? Both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, oh, I've got to say, we always say I say thanks to you, but Lorenzen, you never thought thanks. about selling Lorenz. It's you know, yeah, six degrees of separation. Right. It all worked out. So I like he's it. a legend. It's a beautiful Great guy. We'll hang it's a beautiful we'll, gift. Yeah, we'll thank we you. will hang that somewhere proudly in this office. Right. Yes, Perfect. absolutely. Thank you. One of the nicest guys who ever lived. Yes. By far. I, yeah, I wish I met him. And yep. and one of those guys that if you spend, I mean, we spent one weekend with him. We obviously saw him other times, but spending that one weekend with him felt like you know him for your life because that's the type of guy he was. So I appreciate that, Rico. Definitely. It's so beautiful. Some things. Some things. Some things. Uh, where do we want to go from here? Because we have our picks. We're going to talk about week one. Rico, I'm sure you have all your futures. You came with a bunch of sheets of paper. Are you not worried at all? The Amazon is burning and you are <laughs> printing out no, a I'm thousand old, pieces of paper I'm every week. Cool. I keep I just one notebook for the year. I don't lose the notebook. I keep it. Okay. Yeah. So I double side it. Do we want to do maybe a, a quick airing of grievances before we get to our picks? I have no grievances. No grievances. Okay, well, well, maybe some topics that should be discussed that I feel like the last time we were together. I have a list. Do you Go want ahead. To yeah, list? All right, list? I'll say a list. All right. Uh, wh why are you harassing a nice old man in Dickie V? I don't like Dick Vitale. Why? He's an idiot. Why? Because he's contradictory. Right, but this is a guy who he's one-eyed dick. He can't see. He got the UNC Duke game taken away from him. As he should. He's on his you last hear him leg, do a game? And you are Billis being a little right, punk-ass Twitter troll. Try to troll do play-by-play. Play. Try to do play-by-play play, like Billis because Billis is the best. He just cuts him off. He's brutal. So? He's a dick. I'm he, a, 
Wait, is Literally. that it? Just you just don't like. I don't like him. I would love to challenge him publicly on Boston. I told him anytime he wants to debate me on Boston Radio, he can. But wow, anything. I would defend like Patino, defend the Calipari. Yes, he's like, he's so got win. a foot in the grave, and it's you're good. beating up an I like old my, man. I like my odds. You're just walking over like every time I get on Twitter, Rico's like in the Walmart parking lot, just banging on an old man's head. I'm blocked from his periscopes. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. I've, I just found that out. Good. I don't like Dick Vitale. You can mediate it. I think you'd be a fair mediator. I, listen, I have, have no grievances. A he's, I, a, he's a legend of the game. And I, he took that I, shit. I, I have, yeah, I have no it. grievances. At the uh, Florida State What's next? House. Uh, next, Doug Gottlieb, I'll commend you on that. Yep. I don't know if you've heard, but we've had a bunch cash of stories. Cash that future. We've had a bunch of <laughs> cash. <laughs> Been saying that for years. Saying that for years. Cash that future. Uh We've been getting a bunch of callers calling in. Love and Telling Doug Gottlieb stories about how uh, he's, let's just say he's got some sticky fingers. Love it. Yeah. So Integrity's doing the right thing when no one's looking. <laughs> okay. I go to sleep at night, Doug. Can you? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peter Luger's we touched on. That was tough. That was tough. It was delicious. How good was the bacon? Great. Did, did your informant uh, tell you that Blackjack was there? Oh, yeah, explain this. Explain how this works. Explain the other side because we actually got the video. You saw the video. Right. Gave Blackjack and I went out to dinner, and we got a note, which obviously we had to like yeah, so recreate it, no, but well, we I did was, get that note. I knew you were there. I figured you were there or whatever. I was going to send a round of drinks, but Peter Lucas is strictly cash or the thing, so you can't. they can't take a card, obviously, unless you have a Peter Lucas credit card. So I was like, all right, just give him the you note. You don't have a Lucas credit card? I don't have a Lucas credit card, no. Wow. You should get one, Dave. Surprising. You should get one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so I just sent it out. Hey, enjoy the meal. Do, who'd you call? The Mater D. So it wasn't like someone, a friend. No, no. Eyes he put there. it up. He's like, oh, I'm there. All right, cool. Enjoy the meal. It's a great pot. I've been telling you for years. I'm glad you went. I just, you know, I don't know how you went. You know, guys that don't take their hats off. Yeah, well, let's say that, that's on my list. The Cowboy. It's a little tough. What do you think about the Cowboy making his return to Barstool Sports? I read a great author on uh, Boston Sports in a blog one time who referenced uh, a great leader that said, when I burn bridges, they stay burned. Hmm. So, I, you know, I don't know. I just – it's none of my business. I don't. This is my thing. I do it once a week. I don't get involved in anything like that. I just thought, you know, once that bridge was burned, it's hard to get back over. Who's the bridge burned with? The cowboy. You. Who burns bridges? Who? Are you saying I had to burn bridge with him? I thought so. He left. No, I never. He was never a full time. No, I had All no right. problem with him. What about the guy who tweets the wire? I don't like. Him. Who? Who's that? Bram Walker? No, Philly. Who? The new. Uh, I don't know if we've announced it, but uh, big man on campus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> this, is, this is the most cryptic conversation. I love. Not it. a fan. But that's your business. I don't get involved in that. Right. Dave addressed the tweets with them. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How'd that go? He stood by me. He said, yeah. I, I, I made some tweets, bad things. Like, whatever. I was trying to get attention, you know, get my name out there. Accountability. All right. Snacks are on the third floor, pal, when you get here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're upstairs. Uh, Maybe stock them up a little uh, bit. <laughs> Uh, my thing. Uh, okay, my next on the list, Monet Davis and Little League World Series. You bet on Little League World Series. Yeah. Uh, Louisiana, three to one. Okay. Yeah. And you think Monet Davis is a fraud? Yeah, oh, that's years old. Yeah. 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 And and you just think that? Well, well, I think to me, I mean, listen, she went two and two. Thousands of kids' teams went two and two. And she got drilled in a, in a, a major game, in two and, and a third innings. People need to talk about that more. Yeah. The, okay. Well, no. If you want, hey, you want to bring her on, do the kid cast, then go find me the kid from Texas three years ago. That team went two and two and got shelled. Okay. You that's just want quality. accountability, fairness. Yeah, it's a quality. Yeah. This kid had a league record. We'll never hear from him again. In hits. Yeah. yeah. This kid, Reese Roussel. <laughs> I'm drafting him next year on my minor league team. <laughs> Thousand percent. Okay. Uh, all right. It's rounding up. We talked about Best you. Swings and Swamps got. <laughs> we do. We don't, don't know, brown nose. Don't brown nose. Uh, that's gross. Uh, we talked about you not texting Dave after Stella passed. I don't I, I can't. Physically can't text them. Well, no, you didn't. You could have. You could have because you're like, uh, you just didn't. That's fine. I'm not allowed. It's blocked. No, you could have emailed. You could have done a lot. Of things. Right. You could have figured a car. It was whatever. You could have texted him and then showed that, up and been like, I tried to text. No, no, that's fine. Right. You you, you didn't. That was offensive, but that's okay. Okay. And last one, K. Marco took your blog access away. No, it's back. Oh, it is? Yeah. Why do you take it away? 
I was just a renegade. Who? who? <laughs> just such a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I was just, what were you doing? Who, who gave you that back? Who? Who, who got you Come that? On. Who got you that back? No, who no got, you might have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Kamako just said, yeah, you're back. You got it back. Yeah, All right. I did. Yeah, good. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Am I, do I still have to adhere? Because I have to go like by his you're, adherence. You're back. Yeah, I got you back. I right. right. But am I allowed no, to just yeah, do my own yeah, thing? Yes. You're welcome. I do whatever I want again. Yes, you're welcome. Nice. Tonight. What was your renegade blog? Uh, there was a bunch that he was like, look, like, uh, like, Francesa at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Like after I called him, mostly about the Little League World Series. Oh, you were just blogging then, yourself. Yeah, and then right <laughs> at twelve o'clock, it was uh, Tiffany Ambethyson's birthday, and he was like, "Dude, like this, right at twelve, he's like, I can't have this." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, you own my intellectual property of my steakhouse blog, which is still on the back end." So is that ever please? coming out? Yeah, definitely. So it, to I remind, remind people who did. don't know, it is uh, tiers of episodes of Saved by the Bell <laughs> ranked in tiers of steakhouses. There's only one Rico. Okay. All right. So we cleared everything out. That was my list. Uh, let's go to college football. Awesome. Let's go to college football being back. Dave, I ask you this all the time, but we need a status update. Live bullets. Uh, it's actually something I've been asking you for seven years uh, now. I'm currently not live bullets. I'm down 84 units. Uh, I got to jump to a different lily pad, as we've discussed before. I got to clear with my current guy. There's no point in betting when you're down 84 units. So currently, as of now, it's a fluid situation. Right now, I am not live bullets. I okay. will let you know if that changes. I will tweet out universally if I'm live bullets. Right now, I'm not live bullets. You know you're going like 12-1 and 1 opening weekend then, right? If I'm not live bullets, probably. A thousand yeah. percent. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah, we've always looked. I, I know. That. Are you gonna what year was it? What? The, the hoops run. Oh, that was like 2015. Right. We were talking about the other day. He went like 83 and three yeah. in January. He had to buy an entire living room set. Yeah. to stash the money. Uh, are you making an attempt to get live bolts before Saturday? Yeah, I'm not going to sit idly by and watch, right. the, watch the week one go by. Yes, right. I'm making moves. Right. Okay, uh, Rico. Why don't you just go from wherever you? I mean, I'm sure you have some fucking like Marshall future that we all got to take and then give no, you credit I, for in three I, months. No, the, the, you can still grab the futures in uh, my newsletter. Um, I'll give you a couple that I really like. I like Memphis to win the AAC. Okay, uh, they got to be favored now. They're still plus three hundred. Are they favored? No, that they're, they're not. Uh, the UCF. Sorry, is it AAC? No, it's uh, yeah AAC. A uh, so UCF. UCF is still yeah. out there. Um, and a lot of people like Cincinnati, too, is floating around. Okay. Uh, I gave out Hawaii at one unit to win 30 to win uh, the Mountain West. Ooh. I know. Uh, I didn't like that that kid threw four picks, but as you can see, they light up the scoreboard if you stayed up to watch that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a long shot. But the team, uh, I think I texted you this, actually. We'll touch on this real quick. So, early, I grabbed it early. Bama to win the SEC was like minus 150 when I gave it out. Okay. I don't know how you you didn't take that at that price based on the fact that they were minus 600 to get into the playoff or something ridiculous and like minus what are they now they're now i think it's like minus 200 to win the sec when, when did you give it up when did yeah. you give it out i gave it out uh early july so the way i looked at it was if the predictive lines have G even georgia who i think is very good they're gonna be a seven point dog Money line on that is at least two to one. You're getting a discount if you just take Alabama right now, at minus one fifty. In that, it's going to come down to that SEC championship game, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that that's smart math. I could see a world where that game is is not like I. I could see a world where Georgia's like a field goal underdog. Fair enough. If Georgia plays well this year, I think people will also. I mean, Alabama is Alabama, so. But they do have Don't some you think turnover. If they, if they released a line with Bama anything under than a touchdown, everybody would be hammering it? Yeah, probably. I mean, you see how the season goes. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. his ankle. Is that a I real thing still? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was He's good. He's got man. screws in it, I think. Who's that? Tua. Quarterback of Alabama. Yeah. He's probably the Heisman favorite. He besides is. Trevor Lawrence. He is. Yeah, maybe you should read your Phil Steele. I should. I'll read Phil Steele. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know, I just thought that was good math. Okay. But, uh, it's I guess the the large scape of things is is college play uh, college football too predictable now, like we got a three team race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cyclical. Well, Michigan, I, I think Michigan's in there. I think you just did Michigan dirty. No, they're listen. They're on 
my list as well. Well, then so you just said, on. but you just so said three teams. I, now you said it. Three teams? I think Clemson, you said it. Alabama, Georgia. Yeah. So I said Michigan. You said no. No, you said yes, but then you said three teams. Right, so is it three or four? How it's, many teams? It's four. It's the winner of the Big Ten as well. Okay. So, so it's four. You said it the other day on radio, I think. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that there's pressure on Harbaugh because, like I said, he's the guy, and Michigan was really bad, like you said, before. But to take that next step, like he eventually has to win the Big Ten. Well, no? like, I, he's got to get there. I'd actually disagree because I don't think there's ever going to be pressure on Harbaugh because what is Michigan going to do? This is your guy. This is the end of the road. Like this is your prodigal son coming home. You can't. I don't it's think not the fired. same as firing Brady Hoke. It's not the same as firing Rich Rod. When Harbaugh comes home, he's there until he wants to be there. Absolutely. So he's not getting it's fired. not a situation where. Yeah, people would be mad. I mean, I'm sure, Dave, you'd be mad if you lost Ohio State this year. But what's the alternative? There is none. Yeah, there, I, I agree. That's what I said. Uh, and the, he has improved the team, and they will win eventually. But there's no pressure, job pressure. That's crazy. No His job, job for life. But my thing is, is there pressure? Like, he eventually has to get take the next step. But that's my point is I don't. I don't. That's like, just that's internal pressure. That's right. like you have to okay. beat Ohio he, State. It's not you're gonna get fired if you don't. I, beat he Ohio. personally has to. I think Jim Harbaugh could lose to Ohio State another three years in a row and would still have a job if he wanted it. Agreed. I think he will eventually go to the NFL. I don't think he'll ever go until he beats them. Right, but I'm, my point is he will never have true hot seat at Michigan because you can't Michigan box themselves in. No. And I I'm a Jim Harbaugh guy, but when you bring that guy back. It's not the same as these other guys that they had before Harbaugh. No, he's he's the guy. He is their I guy. I think it'd be good for a college football if Michigan gets in there. We've already seen Notre Dame. We've already seen State Ohio. We've seen a Pac-12 team. It's good if Michigan gets there, for sure. I, I'm hoping he makes the move. You know, they make the next step. Yeah. All right. So what else? What other big pictures you got? Uh, is the Pac? What do we think about the Pac-12? I Washington, mean, Utah, Oregon. Can I, they sneak in a guy in, or are they just the fifth guy looking out every time? Oh, of course they can sneak a team in. Who do you like? Who do I think is going to win the Pac-12? Yeah. Oregon. Okay. I think Utah. Do you worry that it's almost everybody's on Utah? Yeah, no, I do worry about that. Utah's going to lose week one. But they don't have to play yeah, Stanford. That, it's crazy because I, I, their over win total is plus money. So I was like, all right, I'll take that. Like, great team coming off of injuries, obviously, is a question mark. But And then you look at week one, you're like, oh, fuck, they got to go. They're going to lose week Mormon one. Country. I could definitely see that happening. I know. I just told you. It's they live in Mormon country. Right. But they're going into <laughs> Mormon but country. But there's Utah's right, playing in but Utah. But, Utah. You, but, you, you, but you can't say it yeah. how you just said yeah. it. They're going into Mormon country when they live in Mormon they country. They live in yeah, Mormon but country. BG, uh, Bol- BYU is the What's OG. BG? No, BYU is the OG Mormon country. Well, I don't think the Mormons would say that. Within Salt Lake City? It's a tough environment. Okay. I could, you're right. I get. I get. It's a Utah tough making the playoff. It's, it's a tough environment. Try not to it, offend our it, Mormon it, listeners. It, 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 it's a tough environment, but you can't be like let's Mormon say, country. Well, you can't if the Bears are playing the Packers in the middle of December. I'd be like, oh, they're going to cold weather. Yeah, fair. They live in it. All right. So they're going to a tough place to play. Provo. They are. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they're both Mormons. like Arizona going to Arizona I mean, it's State. Called, it's like, they got to play in the desert. Though, BYU is more diehard Mormons than Utah. Yeah. I would say so. I don't know. I think I they're think both so. got a lot of Mormons. Nah. I, yeah, I mean, Brigham Young obviously B- was BYU named is, after. It, and I think you have to be a Mormon to go BYU. Like nine, yeah, yeah, is it? You have to? Yeah. It might be. Um, so to answer your question, though, Rico, I would take Utah. I agree with you that everyone taking Utah scares me. They don't have to play Stanford or Oregon. They also get that, that Pac-12 schedule where it's five and four. They get five home games, four road. But to answer your bigger question, I don't think the Pac-12 is going to be back until – Larry Scott's fired as the Pac-12 commissioner because I don't know if you've read into it. You should read into it. I'll send you some articles. Yeah, trying he's to nine ruined games or something. No, shit. that's not even it. He's ruined that entire conference. He basically he his budget is so out of whack. He treats it like a startup. They like the offices. They have these high tech offices in San Francisco, whereas every other conference has like bare bones budget. He uses the money instead of giving it back to the programs. And someone I wrote, read this whole article where it's basically like five hundred thousand dollars to a school is actually the difference between like three or four recruits, like high level recruits, when you that. actually get out there and recruit. So it's either Larry Scott gets fired or Urban Meyer goes to USC. If Urban Meyer goes to USC, USC will win a national ch- title within five years. Yeah, but Urban Meyer's retired though. No, he's not retired. I know he's retired. Right, but he's not retired. You don't have to say that on this show. We're not an Urban Meyer is retired right. show. I, I know, making fun of the right, but we you know, we like it takes a retiree to know. 
Retired. Right. I'm retired. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> so, okay. I know Urban. Me and Urban. You're, you're one of the same. Compa- yeah, that's not a good comparison. <laughs> like every summer, I retire from DJs. Oh, yeah, man. but so, I mean, so people how many domestic violence disputes have you covered up? Oh, none. Don't say that. Some things. Um, you said that you're like Urban Meyer. In retiring, not in morals. Got it. Okay. Um, what other big picture? I don't know. What do you got? I, I think UCLA is a sleeper team this year. Really? I don't think Chip's got his guys how yet. How many guys? That, yeah. How many? It's his second year? Second he year. He guys yet. Well, he had one full recruit. I think UCLA will be – what's their win total? They win now? Mm. Over under? Five and a half, I believe. Yeah, that's easy money. Okay. I like that, taking a shot. I don't agree with it, but I like taking a shot there. You got it? Pac-12, that – Pac-12 is weak besides right, exactly. those couple teams. They're going to go and they're going to beat Cincinnati week one. I don't Six be and giving, a half. I don't want to give six away. Half, yeah, I like six. the over. Still, I don't want to give away my picks. but they're Still? Gonna go, what? Six over six and a half? Yeah. I don't like giving away my game plan, my pick sheet before we do the picks, but I've given a couple. I like UCLA to beat Cincinnati week Ooh, one. They might start 0-3 if they it's don't beat Cincinnati, start, though, Dave. Eight. I think it's 12 o'clock. No, it's not 12 o'clock. Actually, it's they might Thursday start or Friday, Friday night. game. Sorry. They Rico. might start 0-4 if they don't beat Cincinnati. Rico. I mean, the noon start on a Thursday. Come on. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. Have hey, you ever watched college football? Yeah. They might start 0-4, Dave. Well, I just said they're going to beat Cincinnati. We All won. right, so they start one and three. Who I don't. Have, what, who are the next three games? Uh, San Diego State, tough game. Win. Oklahoma, lose. Washington State at Washington State, two and two. Okay. What do you think about Oklahoma? I think Houston beats them week one. <sighs> Dave put that as his money line pick, plus like twenty two. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you get lightning in a bottle for the third. Straight quarterback, you mean Lincoln quarterback. Riley, Jalen Hurts. Yes. We've watched Jalen Hurts. He was he's good. Yeah, but, but he's a game. I don't know. He wasn't dynamic like Baker and Kyler Murray. But Lincoln Riley makes it easy. That's the whole point. His whole system makes it easy for the guys. And I'm not saying I I agree with you. Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield better quarterbacks yeah. than Jalen Hurts. But if there's any guy in the country that I would put my money on to duplicate it time and time again with the quarterback, it's Lincoln Riley. That's fair. I'm not dr- drinking the Lincoln Riley Kool Aid. Yeah, at you all. you haven't been. No. Um, really? All right. Any other ones before we do some picks? And uh, do you have any uh, any guys that you're looking at that you like? This you know any Heisman? You want to do Heisman dark horses? Um, no. Okay, you got no Heisman dark horses. Well, you, you he, why are you smirking? Are we gonna make up people? I, I, that's what he was smirking at. Yeah, that's I what gave you were smirking. Uh, you make it up, ruin the, the show. Two, I don't care. <laughs> the two guys, the two guys I would take a look at. Listen, Tua or fucking Trevor is gonna win this Heisman, right? But I don't, you know, it's right, it's not fun job. to take the, yeah, right. the lead horse. Okay, so I gave up, out Fromm. All right, give give make do a couple makeup names. Fromm, Jake Fromm, one unit to win twenty. Yeah, and Travis Ntn. You know, yeah, Clemson, I know Clemson running back. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, one unit to win. Thirty. I like them as long shots. Okay. No okay. fake. No, no fake names. You, you have some on the sheet drew though. A, you drew a line in the sand. The Gorilla Glue Bowl was what yeah. was the line. Well, was just, we had good vibes coming here. I passed the Valdo Valdo truck on the way in. Oh uh, yeah, Dave Martin. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. that's good. That's it. That's a new. It's a new season, Dave. We'll find something new. Okay. All right. So should we do picks? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Uh, you Dave, you want to start? Game? You want to go through the big? Game? Oh yeah. Let's go through the big games. My bad. My bad. I forgot the show. Yeah, I forgot the show. Dave said, by the way, when he started to look at his card, his heart started to race. And you that then so made much? my heart race. I just, gambling gets the juices going. <laughs> it's, it's, right. Can you text me or not if you have live bullets or not? No, I, I, I'm never going to unblock you because it's the way you gamble and like when you win a cheap game and that I am on the opposite side and you scream and yell and do emojis. I want no part of that. It'll make me hate you. Okay. We're That's better fair. off. Yeah, right. No, we're friends. As a relationship yeah. for you never to text me again. All right. All right, let's do the big games. I got to just go through Dan, I guess. That's fine. Yeah. Just yeah. Dyke. You like Paulie. Paulie talks to three people. I talk to a lot of people. Yeah. I just don't talk it's like to you. Like, yeah. yeah. That's fine. What do you like more, Goodfellas or Godfather? Goodfellas. I know okay. Godfather's better, but I like Goodfellas. Well, you can say whatever you want. You like what you like. I like Goodfellas. Uh, all right, let's start. Let's do a few of these games. We will do, let's start with uh, Utah BYU, which we talked about. So you guys both like BYU plus six and a half? I don't know. Like, I, 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 oh. like BYU pl- I like BYU plus six and a half. I like BYU money line. I think BYU beats Utah. Utah's a, now, granted, it's a holy war. It is tight. Utah's a much different team. On the road versus home. That home stadium always looks like they just had fireworks go off for yep. whatever reason. It's like <laughs> always cloudy. Everyone's got like black face paint. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think BYU, I, I, 
I haven't looked it up. I know they had a kid take over at quarterback the second part of the season last year who's very good. Zach Wilson. He's went 18 of 18. Is that a fake th- name? No. For 317 and four TDs in that bowl win. That's probably what you he, watched. No, I watched the second half of the season, okay. Rico, what I just said. Right. He's very good. He's nursing a shoulder injury. What was uh, – if I don't know if you go look at it. I know they beat Wisconsin early. He turned the season around. They're going to beat Utah. Mark it down. They're going to beat Utah week one. I could see it happening. I think happen to think Utah is legit. I think it's going to be a, a war. I think it might be the most entertaining game of the weekend. Um, but if you're legit, and with that defensive line, you got to figure out a way to win. They probably won't cover. That's not the type of games I bet. But I would lean Utah. They figure it out. But okay. you're right. It's going to be a fucking war. So Literally, you're actually Holy leading war. BYU. I respect your opinion. I yeah. I'm not I asking. Was, you're taking the points. I would take the points. All right, no, no. I, that's what I said. I said I fi- think find a way Utah. So, but you're betting on BYU. If you're betting, what is this? What the is first it? time I've done this show? No, it's five and, and a half. Li- you literally six and a half. Six and a half. You literally just said you don't think BYU. They'll cover All right. BYU. So, well, you, so you like BYU to not cover Utah. because of Utah's the country. Win. Utah's gonna win. You BYU win. covers. Okay, so All you right. like BYU for the purpose of the show? Yes, for the show. Got it. Is this the first time I've done this show? No, we do it. Got the other part too. No, we do it versus the spread, though. Right. BYU. So don't give out Utah as your pick when you like BYU. This is an ESPN game day. You're not Desmond Howard. You I'm not crazy, right? He, gave, he picked. Got you it. You picked Utah, but you actually yeah, like Yeah, but BYU. I always say who's going to win. But you're taking I'll say, both oh, sides. Win, they won't cover. Yeah, you so, just took both sides. No. You so like money BYU. line parlay, he likes BYU. Utah yeah, money line, BYU. and BYU plus the points. Yeah, he what likes, does that pay? Can you do that? Well, you can't bet the same side. You can't bet the same side. We on the show. This counts. You just took BYU. Got it. Jesus. You should actually tease BYU minus a half. Or sorry, Utah minus a half, BYU plus 12 yeah. or 13. You should. Yeah, you should. Because that's well, what yeah. you think. You can't put it together. No, I know, but that's what you should Open do. Up both sides. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I think they're right on with the spread. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like Utah in that game. I'm buying the Utah hype. I know that's probably an idiotic thing because they are. Money's coming in. It's moving. It's I know. Moving it was five Utah's and a half way. just yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to touch on Wisconsin, South Florida. I don't know about this Wisconsin team this year. They're anywhere from seven to ten wins. Jack Cohn is a placeholder for Graham Mertz. Jonathan Taylor, is he on your list? Heisman? Uh, I'm off of Wisconsin. Okay. Do You're done? Shea Magic on your list? No. Here's. Ooh. No. Okay. Here's all. Do you think Michigan makes the playoff, like you said, with him not being I'm the to make the playoff? Do you think they do? No. I think it's going to be somebody from the Pac-12. Okay. Um, here's the only thing I'll say in defense of Wisconsin this year. They're back to, like, ranked – they're ranked 19th right now. People this aren't is- expecting a lot. This is when Wisconsin rattles off a 10-2 and two year, and you're like, what the hell did that come from? Last year, when they were, like they were eight, ranked fourth, was all in and it was them. a big problem. Yep. They don't do well as that team. They need the expectations as low as possible. Going to be a huge game for pretty much the season, Michigan, September Wisconsin. 21st. I'm going to take be there. in Wisconsin's game last year. I do it every year. I think they generally roll early, like we talked about earlier, Dan, on the college football show. They didn't last year. They ate a lot of my money, actually. But I think they go back to beating these teams by 50 points. So I yeah. take Wisconsin. Uh, I like that as well. All right, so let's talk a little Saturday. Duke, Alabama, you're going to take Alabama first half? I don't have it on my book, which is offshore. Have you seen? Oh, what's wow. The, if, the, if it's under three touchdowns. Implicate touch- him off? What would you say? You're just implicating yourself. Yeah. We're I've- a points bet <laughs> podcast, just so you know. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's what pays for you. All right, I'm on. Points bet. Got you bet points at bet. points bet. I bet at points don't bet. You, yeah. Where do you live? Staten Island. What happened with that guy who got whacked? I don't know. I thought it was just a whack job. Yeah. yeah the that, guy that, who that, I'm him. sure that's just, just the mob boss randomly got whacked on the middle of the street. I'm sure that's how that went down, Rico. The kid was crazy. Yeah, yeah no, no, right. Just random coincidence. Just did, you random. Know, did you know the family? No, I didn't know the family. Did you know someone who knew the family? Yeah. Did you have a guy who knew the family? A couple of I I, uh, I like Alabama in this game. This is the first. I think Duke, and I am a Daniel Jones guy. I've said that. I think he hit a lot of problems for Duke and made him competitive when they shouldn't have been. Without him, I think they go 10 steps back. I don't think they can score. I think this is a 50-point win for Bama. It's the Oof. coach, though. Easily. Yeah, Cutcliffe, the Manning whisperer. Yeah. No, uh, that's true, but I mean, uh, yeah. All right, so you would imagine this is going to open, what, Alabama minus 21 first half? We'll juice up that first half. Yeah. yeah. I I'm probably will still take it. After Easily. last year. There's no way you can talk yourself into taking Duke with the points. Right. Like, what? you don't know who, who they have. I might take the over, They too. just had their best quarterback ever. 
get drafted and leave. I feel like I, obviously going to take a step back. I feel like Alabama also scores a lot, and this is all just off gut in the first few weeks. And then they start doing the SEC schedule where you'll get them scoring 40 points in the first half and seven in the yeah. second. Uh, Northwestern Stanford, I love this game just because I love these two teams. It's just terrible brand of football, and I fucking love it. Four o'clock, Fox, probably going to be 10 to seven. I'm taking Northwestern. I'm also a Northwestern here, plus the points. I think it stays close. We've talked about that guy, David, whatever his name is. What's David his name? Shaw. David Shaw is the king of not putting away teams. He'll punt. <laughs> from he'll punt you to death. He will try to punt you to it'll death. It'll be fourth and one at the 25-yard line, and he'll try to pin you deep. And he'll kick it to the end zone. You gain five yards. You're like, what is this guy doing? So even when they're on all cylinders, they keep it close. I like Northwestern. He basically just plays the field position battle until he can walk into yeah. the end zone. Yep. Do they still have the quarterback Costello? Yes. Stanford? Who's the exact same as Keller Christ and the exact I, same as Kevin Hogan? I would lean Northwest. Then. Okay. Plus six and a half. Seems like we all agree on that. That's probably a problem. Uh, yep. Good. Uh, Want to do quickly uh, Michigan's minus 34 and a half against Middle Tennessee. Any Destruction. Thoughts? I love Michigan by 50. Yeah, this does feel like Destruction. Harbaugh is going to beef up against yeah. this team. Destruction. Yeah. Uh, Oregon Auburn, the big game on Saturday night. Your Ducks, Rico. Quack, quack. Plus three and a half in Dallas. Over under 56. I love your Ducks. Dave does not. I thought you liked Oregon to win the Pac-12. I did. This is but not, you don't like This is here? not a Pac-12 game, I know. Correct? It's an SEC game. So then what, how, what, how are well, they Well, the relevant? big question here is really what it comes down to. So, uh, Justin Herbert obviously came back. He's uh, either a junior or a senior. Pretty sure he's a senior. Um, he wanted to play with his brother. Yeah. Which he's, you have to... I mean, that is some things. Yeah. He's obviously proven. Auburn has a huge recruit everywhere from ESPN, 24-7, Next Step Scouting. Everybody has him as a top recruit. Bo Nix. Bo Nix. So, really what it comes down to is Herbert versus Nix. I'm leaning with the proven guy. I'll take the Ducks. They got a ton of offensive line starts coming back. They look like they improved on the defense. They've been in these games. Last year, they went on that run we talked about with the balloon. Every week was a gauntlet of, of the mm-hmm. game, and then the, the air comes out of the balloon week one. I could see how an SEC team can be like, yeah, you're humbled, but I'd lean the Ducks. So uh, everybody that I've heard talk about this game says they like Oregon. Everybody. Should scare you, absolutely. And the fact you got the kid, the quarterback, who's the number one pick in the draft, coming back, everything. The fact that despite all that, Auburn is three-and-a-half-point favorite is strictly – I was on Oregon to begin with, but I haven't heard one person besides me say they like Auburn, so I'm taking Auburn. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those ones. I love Oregon, but it feels like I'm going to feel like such an idiot because of what you just said, Dave. I mean, Where it's like everyone talks about it. And, and, it, Auburn's talks an, about and, and Oregon's an obvious team to be on because of the quarterback. He's the number one, probably best. It's him and Tua, the two faces of college football. Do we know what uniforms they're wearing? No. Oh, by the way, did you hear about the Cedric Benson game? Oh, I have that on my list. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, no, I'm Texas. Intrigued, though. Yeah, yeah. You should be intrigued. Yes. Awesome. Yes. We're yeah, gonna awesome. F- I'm going to find these uniforms. Those are your angles. That's I know. The, my angle. Why are you giving? All right. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm writing it down. I got a 25-game card. I'll All give right. it to you. Uh, okay, so last up, let's do our uh, Sunday night. So Sunday night, Oklahoma, Houston. Houston going to Oklahoma. Coach Dana. D. Houston beats him. Oh. Yeah, Dave. Dave said I love that Houston quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Derek Ray King. Derek King. Derek King. Love 50 him. touchdowns last year combined. Love Stud. Him. And he's Stud. Bringing, he's bringing in Dana Holgerson. Stud. I don't, I don't. Dana's a stud. It's on my card. I don't. You, it's have, on your card? Money line? No, no. no oh. It's not money line. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> no, I like him. The I like line's him. has gone in your direction, too. It opened to 26. It's now down to 22. Doesn't matter when you take the money line. 23 and a half is where I saw it last on points bet. I, um,. Yeah, no, I, I I, think this goes down to the wire, and I think you'll be able to get out of it with live bets if you want, but I think Houston will have a chance to win this game in the fourth quarter. I absolutely do. I don't think I don't think Oklahoma's going to think about stopping this team. I really don't. It's good. You know what it's going to be like? It's going to be like bet on Texas Tech versus Oklahoma, where you're going to have a lead, you're going to be in it, and you're holding you nuts the entire time. Now, Texas, that was almost my best bet of the year last year at Texas Tech money line against Oklahoma. The quarterback got hurt. 
Yes, I remember watching that game with you. Yeah, they were yeah. up, and the quarterback got hurt, and they didn't. They, they they lost at the end because they brought a kid who couldn't do it. But before he got hurt, they were scoring every time. Houston's going to score every time they have the football. So what do you think about the total? It's, it's an eighty-two insane insane number. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't deal with totals in the, that neighborhood because it's like fifty to forty. You barely win. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, 50-40, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, you needed a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Yeah, but could, win that. could you see anybody – could you talk yourself into ever taking the under on this? Like, it's no. either over or no play. No, no because – That's my point. Yeah, right. Yeah, the under is – I'm not touching the no total. Chance. I, don't, the, I don't bet totals over 80. The, the opposite of the uh, – if you take the under in this, you're never safe. Even no, with never. five minutes left, you're no, never, never safe. And overtime. Especially that, college uh, overtime. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Um, I think given Dana, especially over that key number uh, of 21 – even if is that a football number? Yeah, twenty one's a football. Uh, number. Refresh sure, everyone right? who's well, new to the podcast. You go, yes, you want me all, to just do it or you do? No, it? you do all the football numbers right, for us. Key right. numbers that you sure. should look out for. New gamblers out there. New gamblers. Key football numbers. These will be referenced all year. 21, 10, 35, 7, 42, 28. Why are you doing it back and forth like that? That's how it goes. That's how we do it. Twenty one, three, seven, twenty eight, forty two. 35, 40. What about four? We should no. make that a T-shirt. Four? <laughs> Sevens and how is four not a? How is four not a football number? You can win. What 20, are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. 24 is a football number. Right. 24 is a, four is a football number, is it not? 28, 31. Yeah, I had that. that was what about eight? 31, you're right. What, yeah. if, you, what if it's UCLA yeah. I don't, game? I was just giving like the 45, best. 45, 52. There's, oh, yeah. 59. Definitely. What about, what about eight? What? Eight? No, eight's not enough. Yeah, two. so there's a difference. Or, Oregon goes for two. It's almost not enough. You don't think there's a difference between eight and a half and seven and I've a half? I'm doing good with these. Key let me ask you this question. Numbers. No, no, no. Let me ask you this question. If if a team is up nine and a team is up eight, there's no difference. Big difference. Okay, but as far as like where I'm willing to put the juice on buying a point or buying Ten. A half a point. Ten. One hundred percent. I listed that. Did you? I think so. thirteen. Thirteen, not as much as fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> 14 is my number. <laughs> how many how many points do you think in the entire season you're going to buy? Seven. That's such a lie. I'm not a points you buying guy. You buy points. You buy 17 points a weekend. No, no, no. Yeah, you do. No way. Yeah, you do. Get them at the key numbers. Okay. Uh, Notre Dame, Louisville? No interest. Okay. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think I'm going to take Louisville. I don't like the game. Uh, I just... Going into Papa John opening uh, game of the season, I think the place will be live, loud, and oh, by Louis- the way, it's called Cardinal Stadium now because Papa John yeah. Yeah, wore the Kentucky. I didn't uh, realize that. L- now Louisville quit on. I think the- it was the other things he did, but yeah. But Louisville, I think I actually don't. I think it's probably, him probably wearing, Kentucky. wearing Kentucky is probably actually what did it. You can it's do anything. You can do anything the there, but you back. show up in the second row at fucking Rupp Arena wearing a Kentucky shirt. That's how you lose the name of the stadium. Yeah, but we like Kentucky. Yes. Dave is the number one Kentucky just fan. In general, he yeah. was the one guy who, who in the media, who routinely had them in the top ten. I have them in my 10. top ten or preseason top ten this year. So shut up, Rico. Don't right. tell me about Kentucky. I hate no, Calvary, Kentucky. Yeah, well, I we're talking football right now. I know. So just let me get my thing. You know who likes Calipari? Dickie V. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think Louisville quit on Petrino last year. I refuse to believe they're as bad. They had they they've been recruiting pretty good. Night game, twenty points is a ton, so that's I don't love it, but that's who I would go with. Okay. I kind of agree with you there. I'm on the under of Notre Dame's season win total, so I don't think What was it? I got it at nine and a half. They're gonna lose those two to Michigan you and know, Georgia. You notice, Dave, uh, this is what you know college football's back when Rico starts everything with I got it at. Everything is started with I got it at. That's one of the all time. <laughs> All time, <laughs> like, hey, what's the line in this well, game? Well, it, I got it at. He, he, he builds in yeah. his safety net when he gives out bad tips. He said, "Well, I got it at this." Yeah, five like buy the newsletter. Buy the newsletter. Um, I try get the newsletter. You get I don't, it. I, don't, you don't I, read. I, I, ne- I have never opened the newsletter. Okay, not see, once. See, this that's what's upsetting is that originally when I first was called, you would take anybody you say who comes like new in, you're taking their picks. Yeah. So for the last two years, plus. What, what do you tw- think? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Time out. <laughs> what do you think happened that changed that, Rico? I don't know. Harambe do you died. Think someone maybe? took out know. a big grill and put 50 <laughs> patties on it? I don't it? think so. I think okay. that number's exaggerated. Okay. <laughs> it's not. I don't think you were, not in, in, here's the thing about that famous 50 burger. I have no problem with never losers. Forget, never forget. 
You can't take other people's losers? No. Nope. See, I, that's what I hate, no, though. No. You've, you've taken other people's no, picks. No, no, no. I can't take it when somebody leaves a 50 burger on the grill, and the, and the <laughs> grill is flaming and on fire, and I look who's man the grill, and there's nobody so to be no found. You accurate. went dark. Dark. You disappeared after that 50 burger for Six months. months. That was my problem. Yeah, yeah, I went into the, the grill, lab and went plus no, yeah, 30 the no, last no, two. No, no, I want to look. That hey, good. who's cooking those burgers? They're burning. They're burning. And there's <laughs> okay. nobody there. That's when this I is stopped. This a chef's hat yes. on, uh, sitting highly, by the burgers. Highly, highly exaggerated. Yeah. Highly, highly An exaggerated. An empty chef's hat, and Rico's nowhere to be found. 50 no, no. burgers just sitting there ready to be eaten. No, no. People, but you don't have that debt. So why not? So you've now seen no, two years no, 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 plus twenty nine point seven. No, 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 so why don't no, we start because, new? No, because it's it's when you lose, you go dark. I can't have it. You That's left those true. burgers. You're not a man seven of years. I've been here. Oh, Rico, no. Rico, Rico, you disappeared after Rico. that fifty burger for six months. You disappear every Saturday when you eat the burgers. If you have a bad five Saturday, burgers, five o'clock mass. If yeah. burgers are on the menu on Saturday, Rico can't be found. I no, you find me at mass. Yeah, five o'clock. Right, mass. exactly. And then when Oregon wins, right, exactly. Like you send duck send emojis yeah. Yeah. in yeah. the morning. Quack, 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 quack. See you Wednesday, Dan. With a smiley face. What time Wednesday? It's not consistent. I know, that's how it goes. You walked into that. I, I wasn't even bring highs up highs and lows. Burger. Highs and lows. I wasn't even going to bring I don't, up. I don't, that's why I don't All deal right, with so you. So you won't take any of my picks ever, you're saying? I mean, if you make sense on this show, maybe. Okay. Maybe. But I'm not opening that newsletter. Ever. What if I faxed it to the office? No, I'm, I don't. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Like, people are joking. I, you're I blocked you. You've been blocked. I mm-hmm. nothing you do gets through to me except right here in this room. Other than that, I don't Twitter, you're blocked. Uh texting you blocked. <laughs> you you blocked him on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> He's not blocked. No, you are you don't exist to me except in this like forty five minutes to an hour of my life. That's it. Why is that? Because of the fifty burger and oh, how you ran away. All right. But you still like me, though, right? Uh, yeah, it's just right, yeah. you're. That's I good. like this is my existence. I handled right. you in right, this yeah. window. That's how we work All between right. the between. The I want to give you winners, though. That's my thing. I yeah, want to well, run. Okay. I would just you just got to you got to take one. No, to start. you have no. Uh, what about just taking one? If you make sense to me on a pick okay. today, maybe I will. I will. All right, so then right. go. Give you the picks. Didn't you do this last year where it was like whatever you get fifty percent of whatever the winning? No, I wanted that deal. I want it. No, I just want my envelope. I want ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. You you would be up two hundred and ninety grand. Okay, based but on then your units. okay, but then are you gonna pay ten percent on fifty burgers that get lost? Yeah. No, you <laughs> can't afford that. Right. You can't afford to pay ten percent of his fifty burgers. You do not have five burgers to pay. I know I'm confident <laughs> what I got in all your years, though. Give me your fucking picks then. What do you want? The, the You'll cards be doing this show for right? free all for right, like yeah, twenty let's years. Let's do our picks. Let's do our picks. We're gonna do uh, a special. We have a special sponsor for our for our locks of the week. It's brought to you by Points Bet. For all of our listeners who haven't signed up yet, they're giving you one hundred dollars for free. You can sign up with the code Barstool to get started. And if you deposit fifty dollars, they'll give you a one hundred dollar in bonus in with uh, no turnover requirement. You need to do points bet right now. There's also a little special thing they're doing. If you place a spread line bet on four college football games that we select here at Barstool, for every touchdown your team scores, you get $6 in bonus. Sign up right now with the code Barstool and deposit $50 to get 100 in bonus bets. Again, promo code Barstool. And if you're not in New Jersey, you can play points bets pick six game online where they're giving away up to $25,000 a week. All you have to do is pick six football games, uh, teams that you think will win that week. You can go to pointsbetpick6.com with the number six to play right now. Terms and conditions apply. Void where prohibited. Must be 21 or older. Gambling problem. Call. What Do you know the number? No, I don't know. What it's fucking know what head. 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 I got to be honest. It's hot as fuck in this. It's yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Call 1-800-522-4700. Go to points bet right now. Use code bar so you get $100 for free when you deposit $50. Okay, let's do it. We're going to do our cards and our locks. That's All our right. points bet locks. Go, Rico. No, Dave. Dave goes Me? first. Dave, yeah. how many co- first say the number? I uh, I think I have 25 games. 25. <laughs> we should have bet the over-under on how many he had. Every week, every year, week one, it's fucking 25 I games. I went through, and I have a big card for myself, and I knew that I was going to be like half of – I think I have 10 we games. We should have bet that. 
when before he came in. Should've I have uh, UCLA plus three against Cincinnati. I told you I think UCLA is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Chip Kelly is a college coach. He's got his guys. that got A&M minus 33 and a half uh, against Texas State. Like it. I like the over in that game, 56 and a half. I think like A&M it. scores that by themselves. Mon, big year. I like Arizona State at home, minus 24 and a half against Kent State. That's blowout city. They're going to leave it on the grass right there. Uh, what are you doing? Forks, baby. Good pick. I don't need you <laughs> to tell me it's a good pick. Give it, Liam. Just give it right there. Four. I got BYU plus six and a half at home against Utah. I think they could win that game. UMass was one of the few teams I was on the right side of every week this last year. I like UMass plus 15 and a half over 55 against Rutgers. I like Mississippi State minus 20 against UL Lafayette. That's a Brandon Walker walk the line guarantee. I, he convinced me His in that. His job's on the line. I like Bama minus 33 like and a half at home against Duke. The quarterback's gone. You want Brandon Walker gone? No, no. I just I like that. <laughs> the nice people, yeah. I like that. He's a good guy. Yeah, he is. But you yeah. like that his job's on the I line? I like that people, yeah, you go all in. I think I, that's pathway to a Imagine prop. if your job was online in 2016. Well, you don't bet things you can't afford to lose. Imagine if your Maybe job was online in 2016. Go I, the hotline. I got 50 burger. Tennessee minus 26 at home against Georgia State. I was at Tennessee in Knoxville a couple of weeks ago. The rumors in the trees, they're whispering. It's, it feels like 98 around here. That's what they're saying. They're expecting a big year. <laughs> what? That's because what they're saying. Price? It, it feels like 98 door? around yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I took like the temperature. Yeah, I did too. Like it was no, like, no. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, they're from Georgia? That's no, not that I hot. assume 98 must be T. Martin, Tennessee. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah that, Price. That, they're literally saying it yeah. feels like there's T-shirts. It feels like 98 yes. around here. Oh, Yikes. Man. Yeah, but can you afford to put up with the guy, I'm not going to say his name, if they saw him making a run? Or Ooh. are you just going to No, he likes him? Vanderbilt. Oh, he does? Yeah. Fuck, typical. Uh, Who are you Clay, talking about? Clay likes Vandy. Oh, Clay's yeah. a Vandy guy. Oh, I think he goes back and forth, though. Of no, course he's a he front does. runner, yeah. so that makes sense. Uh, I like the Northwestern plus six and a half uh, against Stanford. I think they keep that game close. Now, here's somebody who called me. I started on this game. I went back and forth, but I keep my ears open, and I'll listen to information. But somebody called the radio show the other day telling me Liberty was a great play, plus 19 at home against Syracuse. They said there's a season line. Hugh Freeze almost died the other day from a staph infection. Hugh Freeze is back? Yeah, at Liberty. Oh, yes. yeah. Remember when he did his fake funeral? Oh, yeah. At Liberty. So he almost died. He had a staph infection well, last we, week. But was it fake? I don't know. They don't know yet. Who knows? Also, what's, what's that number? 19. Plus. That's on that's on my list of look can, ahead can, games. Can, can I, has, am I allowed uh, to talk? Yeah, they have Maryland next can, week. Can I think I, it's a good can, pick. Can, all right. Well, I'm not done talking. Cover. Like I'm not done talking. <laughs> After I talk about the game, you're more than welcome to add your two cents. You got Just it. let me finish. They have a quarterback at Liberty who has broken every record in the book for them, and he's coming back for his senior year, so I'm they're going to put up right points. Now. Liberty plus 19 coming off a staff infection. Rico, now you may speak. Syracuse has Maryland. So even if Liberty doesn't keep it really, really close, you'll have the opportunity for a garbage time. I think Syracuse takes their gas, foot off the gas at the end of the game. Okay, so there you go. So I, we think it's real or fake, the, the staff infection? I think it's real. Because that's the problem with faking funerals. Then you're the fake funeral yeah, guy. But they, true. But they got this right. quarterback with that offense and him coming off a staff infection. Um Listen, FSU was one of the worst teams in the year last year. They're playing Boise State. I can't let Boise State get away. They're a fundamentally sound team. I'll take the points plus yes. four and a half. Yes. Oh. I also like the oh, under 51 and a like half. That. I didn't take it, but I would say no other team in the country needs to win this game more than Florida State. Dave, I'm, I'm with you on that because that's a bet you make based solely on last year, and if I lose, I lose. Yep. And I also but you like, have to do it. I also like the under 51 and a half. Freshman quarterback like for Boise and a – the kid Blackman, who's going to be yeah, ugly. Yeah, Hornybrook. He beat out Hornybrook. Uh, that's not that odd. Boise that, has that a good, good catch on Hornybrook ha- is like the third third best Wisconsin quarterback of all time. I have Mich- two fifty catch on the bus. Statistically, I have Michigan minus thirty four at home against Middle Tennessee State. I also what is Michigan right now to win the Natty? Ooh, I think my, that's a good my, bet. I always get the worst lines in my book. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Oh, no, oh, I, I meant, I meant. Let me check pointsbet.com. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm checking it right now. Pointsbet.com, Michigan to win the Natty. Keep going, Six David. Do you have points bet? That's college basketball. What is? Just throw it in college basketball anyway. Just throw it I, in. I, I got, got fourteen to one. Yeah, in, at points bet. bet? No. Dude, <laughs> got it. Jesus Christ, points Rico. Bet, Rico. This is how you get paid. I got LSU minus twenty-seven and a half at home against Georgia Southern. Uh, just under the lights, LSU always a good bet. I got. 
Auburn minus three and a half. I like the over 55 and a half in that game as well. I think Patrick Nix's younger brother or cousin or whatever his name Bo is, Nick. Bo yeah. Nix, he's going to have a huge game. And then there, everyone's taking fucking, like we said, everyone's taking Oregon, so I'll be in Auburn. I like Missouri minus 17 and a half at Wyoming. You worried about Brian's injury? No, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I like Texas minus 20 and a half at home against La Tech. Pay attention now, Rico. All Texas players will have the number 26 on the back of their helmet for Cedric Benson, who Rest died tragically. So peace. that'll be a die game, which you know I love. Yes. Um, and then I got Houston to beat Oklahoma money line. I got them plus 23 and a half. They don't stop scoring the whole game, and that's my week one card. No, no word on live bullets yet. Woo! Let's go. That was good. Uh, the line for Michigan to win it all. Is let's see championship uh, fifteen to one, but they boosted it on points bet to eighteen to one. Eighteen to one. Eighteen to one. Not bad. I bet you can't get better odds than that. No, it's good. They odds. boosted it. It's looking look points at, bet Michigan. Michigan's gonna okay. see that. It says Mi- Mich- Michigan's gonna make the playoffs. <sighs> I don't know, Davey. I I do. I just said it. I I'll ask you the same question again. If it is the fourth quarter with four minutes left, is Josh Gaddis calling plays or is Jim Harbaugh? I think it's Harbaugh. I don't know about that. Michigan's making the playoffs. That's all I know. Okay. Uh, I'll do my card real quick. So I have a couple that are same as Dave. I like Texas A&M minus 33.5 over 56.5. I like Utah minus 5.5. I like Rice plus 22.5. I think Army's got a lot of hype. (sighs) Yeah. Nope. You can get ready for the triple option when you have a whole fucking nine months, dude. Okay. 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 Okay, we'll touch on it. Okay. Ohio State FAU over 63 and a half. That's the easiest bet I've ever made in my life. Good pick. Lane Kiffin? Good pick. Come on. Ohio State doesn't have a defense. I mean, they well, they do have a defense. Good pick. That's going to be a, a shootout. I actually got to put that in right now. Bama first half. Love Virginia Tech minus four at BC. Don't like that at all. I love it. Mm. Boise State plus five at, uh, or four and a half at, at FSU. Houston plus twenty three. I like that money line. What do you lock think of the line? week? Money line? I don't know. It's probably like fifteen to one. More than that. My points. What was that? What do you the, think that money line is? What? Houston. Houston. Houston money line. They probably won't. They I mean, my book won't have that. I mean, points bet won't. Fuck. <laughs> points bet's gonna check pointsbets dot com. Um, my lock of the week. Fresno State. Plus like 14 that. at USC. I like that. That coach is a walking dead man. He's dead. Clay, Clay Helton is dead. And Fresno State. Fresno State is a classic Pat Hill's still there? <laughs> no, but he, he is. Uh, what, he isn't, but he is. What was his motto? Come to the valley. Come to the valley. No, it was. No. no. Anytime. Well, we'll any, go to the. Yeah, but no, no, anytime, any it. place, <laughs> anywhere. Got it. So what do you mean come to the valley? Well, they respect the valley. They got that big. Yeah, but that wasn't the model. The model is anytime, anytime, any place, anywhere. Anytime, any place, anywhere. I like it. Plus 930. What? Houston at points bet? Woo. Oh, I thought it would be more than that. Should be higher, in my opinion. That's what I'm saying. All right, we'll get that higher. We'll talk to points bet. We'll get that higher. What? Fresno lost their quarterback. I I was on them last year. West Coast Rico. I don't care. All right. That is a fundamentally sound football team (laughs) playing against a team that is not fundamentally sound in USC. Fresno State also traditionally and everything I think about them is still the year they gave USC that game in Pat Hill anytime, any place, anywhere. But they traditionally... We know that it was come to the Valley. That Rico just makes stuff up. We know that at this point. He's but never actually watched college football. I will say Fresno State always schedules really hard and gets worn out at the end of the season, so I like them early. Got it. I'm putting in Liberty right now. I love that Ohio State over for people who I like that, that over. I like that too. I'm surprised nobody gave this out. Ole Miss. Are you Me- surprised? Yeah. Memphis, over 66 and a half. It, it was actually my lock on the college football show. Why don't you watch the show once? Uh, not, it's not on. I don't know. I got to watch it. It's not it's on until Saturday. Until Saturday. Yeah, it's not on until Thanks. Saturday. But uh, is that not my lock? Yeah, it was. My okay. Lock. So you copied my lock. Yeah, I did. You Clay Travis me. App State. <laughs> that hurt you. It did. <laughs> but I'm moving past it. App State, East Tennessee State, over 51 and a half. I love App State this year. Love App State. Um, in their two games against FCS teams last year, they scored 54 and 72. They got a quarterback, Zach Thomas. They got a great running back. I love this team. I think they cover the 51 and a half by themselves. Uh, we said about the Forks, minus 24 and a half. I also take first half, minus 14.5. They got this quarterback named Jaden Daniels, who 
everything I'm reading on him, they love him. They also have a thousand yard, I think, fifteen hundred yard rusher in the kid Eno Benjamin. He's great. We touched on the uh, State Ohio FAU over. I like Houston plus twenty two. I like Army minus twenty and a half. Um, get that down to the football number by that point. And the lock, we doing locks of the week. Right yeah, now? we did our, lock, did our points. Okay. Bet lock Army, of the week. Army first half. Rice is last year was. Uh, what's, your, what's your first half line? Twelve. Is that Accurate. on points bet? I got it, Rico. There's no way that the first half line is twelve when I the, come in the with game my line is twenty two and a half. I had the game well, line at when he got one and a half as of last when I was. Oh, making when yeah, I'm yeah, just giving. Go Tell when me when I got, got it, Bosco. I'll go I'm, on whatever on numbers it. you want. No, 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 no you're this fine. Go, go, go on the real number. Yeah, that's points fine. bet number is what you got. Go it. On. Now I know the real numbers. Yeah, well, yeah. We always shop for Dan has said it. We always shop for the best number. But are we just go points. When I got it, Bosco. Why did you just make a fist? Because I'm company strong. Twelve. On what? points bet? That's what I have. First half. What do you got? 12. 12. There we go. Boom. Oh, 12 it is. Rice is Rico, a horrific defense. when I got Army, it, Bosco. Option. Minus 12. Um, Rice has 31 offensive line starts coming How's back. How's Fat Anthony doing? Fun Anthony? He's yeah. doing good. But he's fat too, right? <laughs> he, he's he's heavy. He's yeah. working on it. He's a good guy. Right. He's a great guy. Uh, Army plays one night game every two years. I love this one. I think they're going to be jazzed up. We played a night game last year. Home night games once there every two go. years. Home night games once every two years. Rice is projected dead scoring, dead last in scoring and total offense, according to Phil Steele. I love Army. I think that that option is just going to keep running. Even when they pull the starters, it's a system. The next kid in, boom, boom, boom. Fake dive, runs around the end, 95 yards, touchdown. Love Army first half. That's the lock of the week. Via points bet. Points bet. I didn't do my points bet. My points bet. Lock Louis Simi, Michigan. They're on a mission. They're going to win this game by 60. I like that. I'm actually going to put Michigan in right now. All right. Uh, Hank, you have your points bet lock of the week. Reminder, if you go to points bet right now, you put in code Barso, you get $100 for free. Dave sold me. My guy, Dana. I'm all over Houston. Yeah, I love okay. that. I love Are that. Are you not worried that four guys in the room all over Houston? No. No, because we're a pro. I'm Dana. not. Well, I'm just asking. Okay. Dude, I don't, our I, guy, can I tell you something that drives me nuts? Sure. You? When you ask a question and someone starts answering, you cut it off before they can answer it. God. Well, you like Dick Vitale. I'm learning a little well, bit. Well, no, that's you. You don't like Dick Vitale. You, so maybe you hate yourself. Like yeah. you ask a question, I On start answering days, yeah. it. You're like, are you worried that <laughs> everyone likes Houston? I'm like, actually, no, because oh, you just cut off. You All just right. the answer is no because it's a prime. We're like. Dana Holgram's in the house, so people always go on him to begin with. He's literally Hank's best friend. So. If you let me answer the question, that would have answered it. I don't think this is a normal, like, we don't view Houston and that team normal to the rest of the world. Fair. All right, finish with the movie pick real quick. I uh, just saw uh, Good Boys. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. Sad. No, no, no. That was the little kids who skipped school. Oh, yeah, yeah, Seth yeah. Rogen. It's a rompous comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of advertising. Once Upon a Time. Yeah, I didn't like it. What? Really? I really didn't. I you also – You're I didn't know, too smart what? for a no, brain I, like So yours. I didn't know anything about – um, the yeah. factual thing. The, wh- who's that guy? Manson. Manson. I didn't know anything about him. So the whole time I was like, when they were hinting at it, it was right over my head. I had no idea. Yeah, again, you're not smart enough. I thought it was a great ending. Um, Don't spoil it. G baby dies. But uh, <laughs> they. I thought it was a great ending. But uh, I thought the first two and a half hours was a wasted storyline that it never really fully entangled. Is it always that hot? This hot? In yeah. The yeah oh, actually, one that. last thing. One last thing. We got to go. But one last thing. Is there one team, great group of kids? Do we have an eye on anyone? Yeah, App State. App State's great group Love of kids? Why? They're good. They're just going to no, be good. No, but like, well, I mean, do they, does someone have oh. cancer? Like, No. Yeah, we'll find that. You're right. I don't want to jump on that gun. Okay. App State's my team, but UAB, great you're right. Great group of kids. I got, we'll find it. You're right. And we, what, Should we get like an award or something on there too? Yeah, sure. Like a stat, maybe a statue of Wolf. I'll get yeah, something. maybe it'll be just a grill with 50 burgers on awesome. it. Awesome. All right.